A lot of things seem to be stacking up, circumstantial or otherwise, that Nintendo Switch 2 may be revealed this week. I know these videos are sort of a dime a dozen on this channel, whether it's just making predictions and being wrong and doing the hot chip challenge, or whether it's just covering random 4chan rumors. But that's not what we're doing. This isn't a random 4chan rumor. This is a combination of a lot of very interesting things, including some stuff we talked about in the last video on this channel just yesterday, because things keep happening. Things keep happening in a way that highly suggests this week is finally the week Switch 2 is going to be revealed. And I can't wait to get into it. We have like three or four new pieces of information here. So before we dive in, I want to first off give a shout out to Andres Restart who compiled a lot of this stuff. We do have some stuff in excess to what his video has, uh, but I do want to give him a shout out for giving me a jumping off point today. I've had a very very long and busy day today so wasn't even planning to get a video out but he actually helped me along here to make sure that i could that being said uh, i also want to just let you guys know we are on the road to 140,000 subscribers i'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel especially if you want to stay up to date on all things switch shoes so yesterday we talked about playtonic games and how they did this tease a couple days ago uh seemingly talking about nintendo and the thing is uh when they talked about nintendo and sort of tease switch 2 we didn't realize that there was actually more to this as in uh yeah we had the marketing manager thing we talked about yesterday and there's an update to that but actually there's more to the platonic side of things as well uh they did an email to their patreon supporters kickstarter supporters whatever it is and uh they got this straight from andres restart and it turns out they definitively confirmed that this is for nintendo switch 2 they'll talk about it as soon as possible that's the general takeaway from what you're seeing on screen right now so that's really interesting but there's also another update to that story because that marketing manager from the Nintendo UK we talked about went ahead and privated his account and got rid of all mentions of everything on his account, including his LinkedIn stuff. So that to me is also very interesting because last time we talked about this, he had just deleted the eye emoji that he did in response. Now he deleted everything. I, I, I do think that uh, he probably still has a job. I can't imagine Nintendo let him go. We did get some context from Kit and Krista, former Nintendo staff, uh, who talked about that Chibi on Fire thing that was posted by Nintendo of America social media. Apparently, it was put up by an intern, and Nintendo wasn't too happy about it. They may have lost their internship over that post. So if that happened, well then, yeah, if you know information as the managing marketing person for Nintendo UK about a reveal this week, and you're participating in this company who put something out there and putting the eye emojis in, is that a fireable offense? I Look, I think it's a little much if Nintendo went that far, but the fact that they got rid of all mentions on their LinkedIn profile, private and got rid of all mentions and had to put opinions are my own on their uh, Twitter profile. Again, we're not going to go over uh, the, who this person is or even show that stuff on screen. It's available out there if you want to find it. I just wanted to mention that that is an update to this story. But uh, it turns out, as a, my sheet of paper here tells me, we actually have more. First off, Pioro did this really weird update to their profile today. Uh, they updated their profile to eye emojis, which you all know, that's what we've been talking about the last couple of days, right? Eye emojis. Uh, obviously, shifty eye emojis can mean whatever, but it clearly feels like a play on Platonic and they play off what the person did. Pioro, by the way, despite the leading posts and privating things and all this stuff, still has a perfect track record so uh maybe he knows something maybe he's just having some fun we don't really know but that is an update to the story but then i look at my list again here again this is all from andres restart so far uh there actually is something else and this comes from brazil you guys know ph brazil uh he didn't really give us you know i don't want to say he's putting a new rumor or a new report out there uh but somebody over on family boards asked him a question and his response to this question is very interesting so uh, the person who asked the question was mario and luigi peach three and they asked brazil if he was still feeling good about a match reveal this was asked over on family boards and brazil responded with i'm currently working on a story that may end up suddenly outdated by an official announcement looking into just that but i've got nothing to comment on right now so brazil was trying to you know update the march thing or confirm or whatever but then he's saying but actually what i'm about to do might be about to suddenly be made irrelevant by an official announcement by nintendo now 
I don't know if that's indicating he knows anything. It could just be a guess or just a generalized statement because, hey, uh, maybe he still believes 2024 and he believes the next couple of weeks are the most sure thing. But what's interesting is when we bring up that is that, well, we got to go back all the way to Dr. Sir Contoto and his cryptic tweak he put up back on October 12th, 16th, whatever it is. And there where he put in quotes, switch to. Uh, again, Dr. Circuntoto, when he's done these cryptid tweaks in the past, it's always meant something within two weeks, some sort of announcement. We don't really know, but it's just more evidence to the pile of his switch to reveal this week. But yesterday we also talked about something else and rightfully so there was a lot of criticism uh, of what we talked about, but I feel like now we have a lot more information. So. Shareholder Chad is a very respected person over on Family Boards, and we talked about how they had heard some chatter going on in the financial space that led them to essentially be on the reveal train for Switch 2 this week. Uh, and, and that's cool. Uh, Shareholder Chad has also said stuff similar to this, like, you know, earlier this year, like back in the February, March timeframe, didn't happen in May, said something for June, didn't happen. So I, I, I want to preface here that he is not an insider. By no means is he an insider, but he put up a post clarifying why he is so confident this week. And I think this post is at least worth paying attention to, assuming that shareholder Chad has the access that he claims to have in the financial space. But part of this post was unfortunately hidden. And as is family board's policy, you're not supposed to share hidden content. Uh, and I don't have access to it because they banned me there a long time ago. However, this post was shared by a user over on the Nintendo Switch to Reddit. So we're going to go over there, but we will link to that post, the official one over on family boards, and we will link to the Reddit as well. Uh, but we'll just for keeping things pretty safe we'll just read off the reddit one just know this is from shareholder chat over on family boards and he says so what's my theory because again it even revealed this week is a theory so it says it revolves around using stock price aka follow the money to determine when insider trading occurs which then informs us of an event about to happen the most famous examples are nancy pelosi and how she always manages to buy tech stocks at the perfect moment examples of this in the gaming sector is yuji naka the Sonic co-creator and being put in jail for two and a half years for insider trading. To aid this theory, I also network with hundreds of people in different sectors of finance and business to give and receive tips of certain stock news, movements, rumors, etc. I actively avoid employees of tech and marketing companies to maintain compliance with laws. In order to pursue this switch to announcement story, I usually liquidate my stock so as to remain compliant with laws. Finally, this theory is sort of a life's work i am constantly searching for ways to improve it it is not a finished product it usually gives me around a 70 percent success rate but earlier this year it gave me a false positive as i had heard constant chatter combined with big stock movement about a may 2024 release date instead of that happening we got a major report of an internal delay the chatter in theory led to a big event but i was wrong in its conclusion so let's see for below for a big breakdown now let's talk about what i'm looking for level one stock technicals aligning my personal strategies involve trying to find a time when the stock is poised for a new trend up or down i use technical analysis such as elliott wave theory fib levels harmonic patterns and other minor indicators such as sma moving averages rsi volume and more i'm looking for these strategies to tell me hey the stock is about to move level two and three big money discussion in big order flow the most diabolical and successful traders are always the people you've never heard about however their footprint is observable in a order flow for a stock it shows me how many stocks someone bought or sold in one order when i see hundreds of millions of dollars in one order then i know we have a big money interest Big money always, 100% of the time, shows up before something significant happens, often very early. I also can sometimes hear about banks, companies, and governments making certain plays, and when they do, it's important to figure out why. From the Saudi Arabia Investment Fund, Tencent, El Salvador, and Bitcoin, and even the Japanese government interfering with the USD, etc. Level 4. Individual investor talk. Self-explanatory. Employees of investment funds, banks, the middle tier fish. Level 5. Ground floor discussion. Insider rumors. 
Weird circumstantial things happening and insiders receiving tidbits here and there. Level six, one day stock movement, a move of four to five percent up or down happening in one day. This signals panic and or fear of missing out that something is close. It's not perfect. And sometimes we do skip a step. But for the most part, this is what I look for in order. So we saw this play out with the Alarmo actually on a smaller scale. I mentioned twice about the stock movement, but it was slightly less than what I was looking for. It wasn't nothing. And it turns out it wasn't. Sure, I was hoping for a bigger fish, but not every line you cast is going to get a catch. Also, what I see is not consistent with normal six-month earning release action. Some are asking me, well, what about your post in September? This was me observing steps one through three. We just hit four, are in the process of completing five. We haven't really heard much regarding insider rumors, but we'll see if that pans out. I expect that step six to happen very close together and could be as close as within hours of an announcement or up to a week. I believe the announcement is next week, putting all pieces together based on what I've heard. Anything else such as title shown or features is sketchy, however. That's information that has been passed on for others to review and do as they wish so that's his methodology now you know why we even talked about him again i want to remind everyone shareholder chat is not i repeat not an insider he is just somebody who is in the financial space and observing a bunch of things and came up with a theory a plausible theory that lines up this week even if we set shareholder chat aside we have ukulele or should i say yuka replay with the eyes and the email uh we have the marketing person uh we have brazil kind of out there saying that hey maybe what he's looking into or digging into might be superseded by an announcement whether or not that's soon or not, I don't know. He's obviously chasing a story right now, uh, which he, I think, clarified later that don't think of it like he's sitting there with an open Google Doc or whatever, just messages left on red and, and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just going to sit back and see what happens, of course. Obviously, uh, if it does not get revealed before November 5th or on November 5th at the latest, let's say for some reason there's some sort of announcement during the investors meeting, I don't see that happening. But if there is, uh, that's it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with 2024 and we'll officially be on Team 2025. So we're already sort of entering the last stretch I feel is feasible for a 2024 reveal. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, will it be revealed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on Halloween, Friday? Who knows? Uh, it might not be revealed at all. And Team 2025 may keep just putting up W's as all of these uh, speculations and rumors and all this just keep not bearing the kind of fruit that we hope they would bear. But I wanted to throw this all out there to see what you guys think. Maybe build up a little bit of excitement this week. Just a little bit. A little bit. We'll see. Obviously, I really want this thing revealed. But we might still be waiting for another four months. So uh, we'll see what happens. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments below. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.